Oh, listen to this, okay? This Luke 14, 26. So Jesus said something which go against his statement. So he hate your enemies, I mean love your enemies, but guess what? Look to this. Now, great multitude, uh, okay, uh, the other one, 26, 25, 26. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and his own self, his own life, Allah Musta'an, you have to hate his own life. He has to hate his own life also. He cannot be my disciple. So according to Jesus, you cannot be his disciple until you hate your mother, your father, your brothers, your sisters, even your own life. Compare this with the Prophet Muhammad Let us compare to your Prophet Muhammad You see, I don't really have much time to make videos for this kid. But I don't mind from time to time to give him a spanking. Let us compare to what Muhammad said and show you that this donkey, he have no idea what he's talking about. First of all, you just said, you just said that Jesus says you hate yourself. So what does that mean to hate yourself? Which means if you go and you follow Jesus, then you do what Jesus did. Jesus, he did not favor himself upon anything else. He sacrificed himself. Jesus, he washed the feet of his own disciple. Jesus was serving everybody around him, yet he is God to be worshipped. So what Jesus is saying to them, if you cannot be like me, don't follow me. You don't belong to me. So if you favor the world over me, you don't belong to me. If you favor your parents and you favor because if your parents are pagans, you want to follow them, no problem. This is your business. But don't say you belong to me. This is what Jesus is saying. Aren't you the one who said, he just said that Jesus says, love your enemy? So how we can love our enemy and yet we hate our parents? What he's talking about here, what love you belong to, not about hating them and go and killing them. In case you do not know, as long as you were quoting for us from the Old Testament and you spoke uh, about many things, I, I'm going to get you busted with that too. Uh, in the Old Testament, the punishment for insulting your parents is death. There is no such a punishment in Islam. Actually, your prophet Muhammad, he said, that my father and your father in hellfire and his mother too in hellfire so he's insulting his parents and he called them in the quran najis najis but as long you are saying let us go and see what the prophet said compared to the prophet said let us see in the quran we start from the quran in chapter 9 verse number 23 you are not allowed to take your parents as a friends, not even your brothers, if they are not Muslims, which means they are your enemy. Chapter 9, verse number 23. Hypocrite, liar, like your prophet. In Christianity, we can take our parents as a friends, and we love them. What he was talking about, that if you favor the word over me, then you don't belong to me, because I did not favor the word. I gave myself to you. As simple as that. So read with me here carefully. O who you believer, take not for protectors your father or your brothers. If they love infidelity above faith. If we go to Ibn Kathir and see what this verse is saying, because you might say, it doesn't say that, it doesn't mean that. <laughs> By the way, it doesn't say uh, just the protectors, even your as, as a friends. If we go to Ibn Kathir, and see what it says. Remember, Ibn Kathir is not a Christian person. Right? This is Ibn Kathir, your master. Chapter 9. See, I'm doing it live in the front of you. And this is verse number 23. It's forbidden to take the idolaters as supporters, even uh, if they are relatives. Allah command shining disbelievers, even if they are one of the parents or the children, forbid taking them as supporters if they choose disbelief. That is about hate. And look what it says. You will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day making a friendship with those who oppose Allah and his messenger. You will not find anyone who is believing in Allah, which means the second you believe in Muhammad, you cannot take a friend from who? From your parents and your brothers and your sisters. And you idiot, you are saying to us, Jesus teaching hate. Coward potato. 
not even your children's. The second you convert to Islam, everybody is your enemy. So don't fabricate lies and you are stupid to the point you do not know your own book. And what about sacrificing your parents for the sake of the Prophet? Look what the Muslims they say. Muslims are willing to slaughter their parents for the sake of the of the Prophet. So they say, Allah Messenger passed by our house that my mother Umm Salim listened to his voice and said, Allah Messenger, let my father and my mo my mother be sacrificed for thee. And this is a this is you see all over the Muslims. Until now you say that. Until now they say, May my father and my mother be sacrificed, slaughter for you. Look what Muhammad is trying to copy Jesus in the verse you don't like. Look what he's saying. <laughs> this is how stupid you are. <laughs> Muhammad is trying to speak like Jesus. Do you see it? And this is can be found in all reference. This is Sahih, Sahih al-Bukhari. The Prophet said, none of you will have faith till loves me more than his father and his children and all mankind. And they will say, okay, what Jesus says, hate your family for my sake. It doesn't, he, didn't, he didn't mean you hate them. It means you hate the world, which means you don't. You don't go after the world. You don't, when, you, when he say you, you hate your parents, doesn't mean you are going to kill them and fight them. No. It means you favor Jesus over your parents. You favor God over paganism. And you're a prophet here trying to copy Jesus and saying the exact same thing. So you slaughter your parents for the sake of your, 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 your father. You are willing to fight and wage war against your parents. And the Quran confirmed that everyone who is not a Muslim is the enemy of Allah, including your parents and your brothers and your sisters. And yet you hypocrite, you are saying to us, look at the loving Jesus. Why did you see Jesus saying, go and kill somebody? He is my father. But I can show you tons of stories of Muslims fighting their own family. Actually, Quraysh. Who is Quraysh? Quraysh is his family. Muhammad was attacking the caravans of Quraysh. Who are Quraysh? Those are his family, cousins, and you know, they, they, they are a tribe, one tribe. Oh, what the tribe mean? The tribe mean a family. Muhammad was slaughtering his family for the sake of money. All of Quraysh is a family. And as you see, Allah consider non-believers as enemies. And you cannot take them as a friends. And if you choose to take them as a friends, that means you are not a Muslim. In chapter 5, verse number 51, it says, if you take them as a friends, you are one of them, which means you are out of Islam. Are you dearer to, to, to you than Allah and his messenger? And striving hard, fighting in his cause? Then wait, for what befell you of Allah punishment or treatment? Muhammad is threatening the Muslims. If you are going to be loving anything else except Allah and Muhammad, Allah will punish you. How he will punish you? He will put a long chain in your anus, as it says in the Quran. Read here what Muhammad is trying to copy Jesus again. لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من نفسه. You just said that Jesus said you hate yourself. But you're a prophet trying to copy Jesus. And look what he said. None among you will attain faith until I became dearer to him than even himself. Which means you sacrifice yourself to me. Do you see it? So what you are speaking against is in your book, you idiot, Muhammad trying to copy Jesus. And this is how donkey you are. Now, I will make another video, and we'll keep this one short, so people will laugh at you more and more. I heard that you said that Jesus in the Bible is a bastard, and in the Quran is not. What a shameful Muslim you are. Wait for my coming video, and I will make everybody laugh at you. Thank you very much, guys. Download the video and share it with everybody. This is a Christian prince, the nightmare of those Abdul who don't dare to call me.
I am every day. This coward, he said in his video, in the, in the speaking corner, when they asked him why he don't dare to call me, he said, I challenged him when he was asleep. I challenged him when he was asleep. The coward, the potato. I told him to name his day, to name his time, to name his clock as he wish. And he never responded. He said to me, little tiny answer. He said, email me, let us arrange something. But he knew he cannot do it, so he will never arrange any. What do you mean email me? I just challenge you. Name your day, name your hour, and we will do it. But you are a coward, you are a potato, you don't dare. Follow me. Let us answer those funny Abdul who believe in endless penis God will give them when they go to heaven. 80,000 women for sex. A penis will never go limp. And women, they have a desirable boobs and vagina. And 80,000 little boys, they will be so white and they will not bleed supposedly to serve them this is how stupid this cult is a cult of killing and hate and hatred and you muslims are the first one you hate yourself and you are the first one who sacrifice himself for the sake of muhammad when you do jihad and you do suicide by me what are you doing you hate yourself you hate everybody and you kill everybody and you are complaining and saying jesus says hate yourself here we go. Jesus told me, if you if you don't hate yourself and follow me, okay, I hate myself. What does that mean? I'm going to kill myself? No. It means if I favor my own pleasure, my own interest, over what God asked me to do, then I don't belong to him. As simple as that. You are an idiot who do not know what he's talking about. And I doubt you, you have a high school. I don't, I don't think even you have a high school. We are waiting for those who claim knowledge to call us and debate us. You see, this is my address in Patreon and Minds.com. You can click at that page and you will find my pages in YouTube and you can join us wherever you are watching this video. Thank you very much and may the Lord bless you all. Take care.